electric vehicles and hybrids, intelligent vehicles with multi-driver assistance systems, much of the future that founder Andrew Walsh predicted when we last came to AW Repair Group is now reality. We're seeing the biggest revolution in transport in a century and this is happening much quicker than people realise. This is driven by governments and legislation and comprises of two elements, road safety and zero emissions. Body shops have had to adapt rapidly to a whole new generation of vehicles built of lighter materials but heavy on technology. It's very important for me personally and for the business that uh, we can offer a, a full solution to our work partners. We can repair electric vehicles, hybrid vehicles, aluminium. So when I'm having conversations with our work partners about can we repair this vehicle or that vehicle, the answer for us is always a yes. To keep ahead of the field, AW Repair Group has installed technology centres like this, fitted out with state-of-the-art equipment. It's vital for us to have the capability to put these vehicles back to the manufacturer's specification. You know, there's um, self-piercing riveting guns, aluminium dent pull stations, car aligner benches with the carotronic measuring system. There's always a cost involved, but we think the cost is vital to have the right equipment to be able to repair these cars correctly. New technology and skills are also needed for painting electric and hybrid vehicles, as the temperatures normally needed to bake the paint would damage the batteries. So AW use UV primer and air drying clear coats, which have the additional advantage of cutting energy demand and helping them to meet their target of reducing their annual carbon footprint by 2% year on year. They've had to involve every aspect of the business, from working with suppliers to reduce deliveries to introducing a fleet of hybrid courtesy cars. But they've now reached that goal. The whole AW network has achieved carbon neutrality to the past 2060 standard. On our first visit, we also met apprentice Charlie Marchbank and heard how much he'd learned and progressed in his first year. It's great to see that he's still with the company and still learning and progressing. He's now completed a Tesla training course in the Netherlands, qualifying him as a Tesla-trained technology centre technician. Coming towards the end of my apprenticeship, I'm a, almost like a fully-fledged member of staff. You know, I'm doing jobs from start to finish. I'm getting a full grasp of the whole job, really. ADAS is uh, used to do anything from parking sensors to radar, guidance, cruise control, things like that, and it's very safety orientated. And I think that having this technology in-house makes everything so much easier and better for us as a, as a company to work on these new vehicles. Simon Bailey joined AW as their first apprentice at the age of 16. More than 20 years on, he's still learning too. It's a constantly evolving industry and we've got to stay ahead of the game. So as soon as manufacturers are launching or even hinting that they're going to be launching new products, uh, Andrew's straight on the case. The knowledge and the access to the knowledge is critical. Technology is catapulting the industry into the future, but it is an industry that has suffered systemic challenges which has resulted in skill shortage. We need young people that have been brought up with computers. They're not phased by it, they're excited by it and they want to be part of it. I am absolutely confident here at AW Repair Group with our sustainable approach to these opportunities. We have the technology and we are ready.